Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. 10-3's door code is 035000, which translates to that you have to get through this stage in 3 minutes and 50 seconds. For this stage, that's actually rather generous, if you don't make any mistakes. <laughs> anyway, here we go! As you see, it starts out with an auto-scroll segment. It's s rather slow, but uh, yeah, when you ever you see it like an auto-scroll segment of sorts, it's not... You can't go through the segment any faster than the screen goes. You just gotta sort of stay towards the right side of the screen. You know the door is coming up and whatnot. Yeah. Anyway, those guys are nubbles. Yeah, they're they're very very cute little oh dear oh dear. <laughs> they're cute little seal replacement enemies of sorts. Anyway, got some easy platforming here, I should say some basic platforming here. This last one might be a little tricky, but eh, not that tricky. And another Auto Scroll segment this time, with a bunch of icicles. Yep, yep. This is a really noisy area, by the way. <laughs> yeah, it's also slowing down the emulator a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay, that's okay. As long as it doesn't mess with the actual, um, the progress of the game, it, it works for a walkthrough, I suppose. Yep, just, they just keep breaking. <laughs> Stay near the edge of the screen, by the way, and look ahead to see where you should be going next. Uh, this one you might have to memorize if you want to get the most out of it. Um, over here, this is a pretty annoying segment because you actually have to go up here first, which means that you have to memorize that before you follow the arrow, which is right in your face at the start. <laughs> but that's okay, that's okay. They expect you to go through these stages at least twice, because you're not really supposed to know that there is a, um, a time that you're supposed to get through each of these stages, but yeah. Uh, anyway, oh, that was a Fido Fin. Yeah, they, they, they're sort of like that... Um, that fin, that enemy that, I forgot its name, the one that kind of gets all crazy and dashes back and forth with a shield of sorts. Anyway, over here, you got a pretty decent chance to have a shortcut here. Yeah, that is a fantastic way of getting some time saved. And do not fail here, drop a ball there, there's the door. And okay, things are going pretty smoothly. This is the last area, by the way. Oh, of the level, and oh, no, 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 Xbox D-pad issues, not at this point in time. We can't have, no, 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 oh, shoot. We can't have those shenanigans, Urgh. And yeah, this this is entirely based around stalling you. <laughs> it's a relatively precise, there's the end of the stage. Just remember to drop down the left side once you get up to the top. Oh, no, 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 we're not gonna have, Ah, any of that. Okay, now we got another one, another bouncy ball segment here to zigzag diagonally. There we go. It's not that difficult to get ahead of the water there. It's just with getting through there the initially with the jumps, that's more of an issue than anything. <laughs> yeah, because you know when, when you're swimming, you're you have like free form control over your direction. But in the water, you I mean uh but when you're in you know like on land, you have to deal with that. Um, you have to deal with gravity. <laughs> anyway, I did that on my first try. Yeah, they give you a lot of generous time there. Um, that, I mean, that stage right there was mostly about, um, figuring out how to do things and then going through the stage. But once you know how to do things and where you can shortcut, you can save a tremendous amount of time on, uh, chal 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 <laughs> challenge. Three there. Anyway, challenge four. Here we go. Oh shoot! Actually, forgot. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> I'm gonna go back to the map so I can restart this from the beginning here. I forgot to mention what your time limit is. 10-4's door code is zero two one zero zero zero, which of course translates to two minutes and ten seconds. All right, let's do it. Let's see how well I can do this. Oh god, Kirby jumps. Oh, this is not gonna go well, is it? 
Mm, no, that went decently well. Anyway, try and shoot yourself out when you're further to the right side, because if you hit the wall, you won't be able oh, shoot. You won't be able to get all the way up to the top, but if you hit that one, you also won't make it all the way to the top. But yeah, that was kind of my mistake. Mm, oh, shoot. No, 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 no. We can't have this much stalling. We cannot have this much stalling. <laughs> Uh, just mash the Y button here. Mm. There we go. And next segment, more barrel cannons that aren't really barrel cannons, but feel like barrel cannons. Uh, don't let yourself fall back to the other one. That would be pretty devastating. This one's pretty awkward because it doesn't shoot like any other one in the game. In that, yeah, it's not compass directions. It's like directions that are off the compass. All right, rainbows, let's make a wish to do this. On our first try, that's a smash can, and by the way, glide as far to the right here as you can. Uh, those smash cans are really, really armored. Oh, no, 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 oh, shoot. I don't think I'm going to be able to do this now. <laughs> At least not on the first try. Uh, yeah, those smash cans are really armored, so just ignore them since you're basically doing speed runs here. Yeah. Anyway, let's just get past them. Just keep... Star spinning across the rainbows and to the door. Yeah, I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to make it uh, in two minutes and ten seconds now. But we'll see. Uh, oh shoot, that is a flunder. They like to shoot stuff at you. Uh, yeah, not, not really that big of a deal. They're just there for the most part because, yeah, see that? You just pretty much can go right through them for the most part and yeah. <laughs> anyway, I'm making pretty decent time here uh, maybe I'll be able to make it in two minutes ten seconds maybe possibly it's gonna be close it's gonna be close oh I got it <laughs> uh, this is wow I'm burning through these stages a lot faster than I thought it would be um, <laughs> I guess <clears throat> excuse me I'll do another stage then, 10-5. The door code is 025000, which translates to 2 minutes and 50 seconds. Ready, steady, go! Get ready to fly through space with the low gravity of awesomeness. Yeah, this it seems like this first segment's gonna be slow, but if you know where to go, you will save quite a bit ah it's quite a bit of time especially if you um time yourself well with these space bobbies and maybe i should have done a uh, um shooting star move you know the ground pound attack to get some height on that but mm, I don't know. yeah it's fine i suppose here you probably want to do a shooting star move so that you can get a little bit of uh, uh float to get in this hole just a little bit of timing there that i like to do i mean it's it's a thing of uh, to get the right jump height to get in here and save as much time as possible. Although I'm probably not saving all that much time. Oh shoot! I wanted to do the shooting star move. Well, it's fine. It's fine. This is another another stage that stage that's relatively generous with time, just as long as you don't mess up. So take your time, hit the belly birds, and fly all the way to the right. There's another set of belly birds up ahead. But you won't need them as long as you hit that first one and just double double jump and glide all the way to the right here. Yeah, there you go. Um, next segment. Oh, no. This is a pain. It, it, it's, it feels like an... Oh, no, 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 no. It feels like an auto-scroll segment, except... Oh, shoot, shoot, shoot! Oh, except that the platform disappears and yeah. <laughs> So hope, I don't know if I'll be able to make it now, but mm, I guess we'll see. Yeah, it's it's relatively precise, and you have to stay on this platform, otherwise the platform will disappear on its own. Uh, this one right here, you want to not go un uh, touch it underneath, because it'll go off without you. Yeah, another one of those memorization sort of aspects they expect out of you, because they expect you to play these stages at least twice. Uh, no, 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 and over here is the black hole. Uh, oh, 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 shoot, 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 shoot. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. Shoot, reset, reset, reset. Press X rapidly, there we go. <laughs> it looked like I was going to fall there, but no, those don't work like normal doors. Okay, um, right and left, 
and all the way to the left dodge the middle one if I recall yes and then go right in the center that could hurt you oh shoot it did hurt me no 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 I made it in time <laughs> These are just going so smoothly, but I don't dare play 10-6. You know why I don't dare play 10-6? Because this is easily the most frustrating, difficult level in the game, especially when you want to speedrun it. So I'm going to save that for the next part. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you then.